What's up guys and thank you for stopping by my channel. Today's project is this Poulan chainsaw and the problem is that it won't start. Let's diagnose the problem and hopefully fix it. These Poulan chainsaws are great options for homeowners. You can easily find them at your local chain store and they're very affordable as well. So let's go ahead and try to start it and see what happens. I moved it off the table to get a better pull on it and then I noticed a major problem with it. There was so little compression in the engine that I could pull it over with using just two fingers. This shouldn't be possible with this chainsaw. Let's get it back on the table and then take a closer look at things. First thing to do is take off this top cover loosening all three torque screws. I forgot to mention I wanted to examine the gas. It did come to me from the person with gas in it. I'm not too familiar with this type of two cycle oil that they used in here, but I'm not sure if the color is supposed to be this way or not. Actually, I was hoping to see that it was extremely light in color and that would explain the low engine compression as it would have damaged the engine. Next, we'll go ahead and take the spark plug out. Since we're here, let's go ahead and check it for spark. All you'll do is replace the plug back on the boot and then make sure the plug is touching metal and then pull the engine over. It was a little difficult to see on camera, but off camera there was spark there at the tip of the spark plug. Next thing we'll do is install the compression tester and pull it over several times. And this was pretty much to be expected. It only read 55 PSI, which is not enough for this saw to run. And out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and take the muffler off to take a look at the piston and the ring. And this is pretty much what I expected to see. The piston and the ring are severely damaged. Either this saw was accidentally ran with straight gas or a very low oil mixture. There is another option though. It could have been that the engine was running lean and was used in a lean condition. This will cause engine damage as well. As carpenters age, they'll need adjustment, but unfortunately sometimes they lean out and if someone keeps using the saw in a lean condition, it'll also destroy the piston and the ring just like this one. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you in diagnosing your chainsaw. If you would also consider subscribing, it would really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.